Hi there, this is Mar Haddad here. In uh, this uh, new uh, YouTube video, I would like to show you how uh, you can do the Microtech router to act as a wireless repeater. So before I start speaking about what is the wireless repeater, just I would like to ask you that uh, you always uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel and also to uh, put like on this video if you like it and share it to other people so we, they know about my work. So what is exactly the wireless repeater? Say that you were in a holiday and you went for a holiday house where they have internet and they gave you the password for the wireless of this internet. Say that the, the coverage is not for the uh, whole uh, place or for the whole house, only for the ground floor. And you want also to uh, have internet on the second floor and the third floor, say that the house is for three floors. So what you can do, you can bring with you the smallest Microtech uh, router possible. And then what you can do, you can connect to the uh, main wireless, which is provided by the home. And, uh, and then you can uh, make the uh, Microtech router to act as a repeater. So you can repeat the signal of the wireless and uh, this we can distribute then the same password for all the members of the house. So anyone who is on the second floor or on the third floor, they can also connect to the internet. Same thing, for example, if you are uh, traveling and uh, uh, the airplane, normally the airplane give you access only for one device then you can connect to your only one device and then you have internet. So what you can do, you can, uh, you have a Microtech router. Of course, it's uh, more complicated when you're traveling to do all this work, but that's also possible. I know a lot of people do that, uh, especially the, the Microtech engineers. So they have a Microtech router and then they have the internet on that Microtech router and then they repeat the signal so other people can also get the internet. For example, uh, if you are traveling with your family so everyone can have internet uh, on their uh, phones. So, yeah, uh, there is a uh, different ways to do this work uh, to make the wireless repeater. But Microtech, they have added a very nice feature on the Microtech router OS, which was not uh, there uh, not long time ago. They added. So I just want to show you how you can uh, do the configuration for that. So let's go directly and show you what is the lab scenario so you can understand it. And then we start doing the lab to see how we can make the Microtech to be acting as a wireless repeater. So this is my lab scenario. I do have here, you can see that uh, I have the internet service. Uh, uh, actually, I have my home router over here. So this is, I also have a Microtech at home. So this is my home router over here and it is giving wireless. Now, say that uh, um, I want to use also another Microtech router. So this one to be a repeater. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to receive on this Microtech router the wireless that it's propagating from my home router and then I will act it as a repeater so then it will propagate the signal and then in case for example this uh, phone which is far away from the uh, uh, main router that I have here at home so if it's far away it can't get the signal then the same signal will be propagated to uh, my phone from this router acting as a repeater and then uh, the, the uh, phone over here will be able to connect to the wireless and be able to uh, be uh, connected to the internet. So this is just simply what we need to do. So we have to see how we can do the Microtech as a repeater. Again, there are different ways, but there is a new feature that Microtech, they have it uh, again, not long time ago. So I'm gonna use that feature to show you how you can do that. So this is what we're going to do in this lab. Let's go now directly and start doing the exercise. All right, so this is my Microtech router. I'll put here the pictures also so you can follow. So this is the Microtech router, which doesn't have any configuration. If you can, I can just show you here. If I say uh, export, we have to log into the um, admin user. So if I say export, you can see this router doesn't have any configuration. So it is really having the blank configuration. I just uh, reset it uh, so it doesn't have any configuration. Now, what I need to do first is to make it as a repeater. How to make it as a repeater? This router, which is the router you see in the picture, should get the signal from my home router because my home router is providing the uh, wireless uh, signal. So we should have also the same password. So what, uh, what I can do, just you can go to the wireless over here. And on the wireless, you can see you have this one, set up repeater. So you just click on set up repeater. All right, now I do have here two interfaces, WLAN 1 and WLAN 2. The WLAN 1 works on the 2.4 GHz. The WLAN 2 works on the 5 GHz. At home, I only have 2.4 GHz, so I'm gonna use the WLAN 1. 
The others, I'm, it's not important to put it. What is important to put is the SSID. That means the server set identifier that uh, it's propagating from my home router, which is mycritic home. All right, so this is the SSID of uh, my uh, uh, home router. You should uh, know it, which is called mycritic home. And we have to put the password of also my home router. So the router which is making the wireless. So I'm gonna write the password here. All right, very good. So this is the password for my home and this is the SSID that I have to write. So those information, you should know them because anyway, you have to know what is the SSID and what is the password so you can connect to that wireless. And all you need to do now is to say start. So what's going to happen now in the background is start scanning to this SSID, this uh, password, and here we go. You see what happens now. Look, it has created, uh, first it has connected to the wireless um, uh, from um, uh, my home route wireless, so it has connected to it on WLAN 1 and had, has created a virtual um, uh, here you can see that there's a virtual uh, wireless uh, LAN and uh, if we go inside of that one you see that it has the same SSID which is Microtech Home so that means the same SSID we see it if we go for the second floor and the third floor for example and it has the same password that I have uh, put it when I uh, made the scan and it is as an access point bridge that means it is acting as an access point so I can connect to it and then over here, the main interface, the WLAN one, you see it's station bridge. So it's bridging the wireless with the, the main wireless. So it's a station bridge, that this is the SSID, and it is the security profile, which it has created. Very good. So now let's try to connect. So what I want to do, just to make it uh, simple, I'm going to go here because where I'm sitting now, uh, my uh, home router has the signal to where I'm sitting. So that means the Microtech Home, uh, the SSID, it can be seen from where I'm sitting. So to distinguish between that SSID and the SSID that is given from this virtual WLAN, I'm gonna make here SSID for that one, Microtech Home one, and that one I'm gonna connect to it to see if I can go to the internet. So I'm just changing the SSID on that one. Very good. So now I will take my phone, so this is uh, my phone. I'm gonna go to the uh, wireless and uh, first. Uh, oh, I forgot to add uh, the. Uh, let's uh, put the, the picture so you can see what I'm doing of my phone. Yeah, here we go. So you see, this is the Microtech Home. You see, my phone can see it because the home router is close to to me. So just to distinguish between this and that. Uh, so I want to connect to the repeater. So Microtech Home 1, which I have uh, put it. If I didn't put Microtech Home 1, it will have only shown me Microtech Home. So it could happen that I connect to the uh, home router or I connect to the repeater. One of both, right? But just to distinguish this, so I'm going to click on Microtech Home 1. And now it asks put the password, so I'm going to write the password right away. So here the password is there, and now I'll connect... And I will see if I'm able to go to the internet. Here we go. It's connected. Yeah, it's connected. So now if I go to uh, ping, uh, for example, and I try to ping to google.com. Yeah, it is working. So uh, my phone is connected to the internet. But before I finish this lab, I just want to show you because it's really nice how things are here. So if we go to the uh, tools or actually to the IP address, we see that there is nothing here. This uh, repeater doesn't have any IP address, so it doesn't have any layer 3. Also, if we go to IP routes, there is no route. So that means that this repeater is not connected to the Internet. Look, if we open ping and uh, we try to ping to a.a.a.a, .a .a .a, so it's not connected to the Internet. So what this router is doing, just repeating the signal and then you go directly and connect to the uh, main uh, uh, access uh, point, which is uh, at my home. So that's that's the idea what's happening here. So if you want, I can go to my home router and uh, I can show you. So if we go from uh, my home router now, if I go to IP and uh, we go to the uh, DHCP server and then to the lease, I should see here 
uh, my phone. Let's have a look where I can find it. Um, this, this is my phone, you see? It is there. So now that means if I got the, let's, uh, I will, I will first, uh, remove that one. Look, if I remove it, and then I'm going to uh, disconnect from my phone. So let me just uh, open my phone again. So if I disconnect uh, from that one now, so I would just say off. All right. So now uh, we made it like this. And then I will go again to here. I'll put them side by side so you can see what's going to happen. So this is here. This is here. I'll make it a little bit bigger. Maybe it's like this. This better. Okay. So now my phone is not showing up over here. Let's open it. And uh, it should now request for an IP. So I will connect to Microtech Home 1. And here we go. It has request for the IP and it has shown up over here very fast. You see? So this is uh, just to show you that uh, all the management uh, of uh, the uh, IP addresses is happening from my home router and not from the repeater. So that is all what I wanted to show you in this uh, video, how you can make uh, the mic tech uh, to become as a, re a repeater for the wireless. If you like my way of teaching, please do not forget to put like on this video and uh, to subscribe also to my channel. And please also do not forget to share my video to uh, your friends and uh, to your colleagues so they know more about uh, my work. So I hope that this video was informative for you and I will see you in some other videos.